this video I'm going to talk about herbs and I'm actually growing these herbs on my garden, my deck garden and so there's a lot of uses for them and so I'm going to actually start cooking them up but I have a lot of variety here so I'm going to explain a little bit and I've just done my own independent study on herbs and their uses and everything And but uh, one really good treat is actually uh, cooking these in olive oil on, a, on the frying pan so I'm going to get that started right now extra virgin olive oil from Italy it's the best you can get Greek olive oil but don't be cooking with any uh, regular vegetable or canola oil or anything olive oil is where it's at it's the best oil by far very liberal amount of olive oil that is too While that heats up, I'll start explaining some of these different kind of herbs. Uh, we got right here. Really popular one is basil. Uh, basil grows later. I don't want to plant it too early because it's a pretty tender uh, uh, herb, but it's it's really good to start planting it around now and end of May, June. And uh, they become very abundant as the summer goes on, so you can make pestos, you can make, uh, add it to your salads, it's delicious, add it to your sandwiches, it is so good. Or you can cook it like I'm going to cook it right now, by just on the frying pan and eat it as a little snack. Um, there's many different types of basil, there's Thai basil, super sweet basil, a lot of different Italian basils, so check out different varieties. I got Italian basil, super sweet basil. And I have some Thai basil, so I'll be cooking that up. Uh, here's a uh, really, most people know sage. This is a purple sage. It's a little teeny thing, adding it to salads as a garnish. Uh, but the best kind of sage to actually cook, and I got a lot here, is called Berg sage, a gardener's choice sage. Big leaves, and when you cook these in the frying pan, they really sizzle, and then they're like chips. And sage, sage has a really good history, especially in the Mediterranean. But uh, sage is delicious, so I definitely, definitely recommend having sage, a good source of different vitamins. And then there's many different varieties of sage. And here's, here's some flowers right here, um, tracked hummingbirds, really bright, magenta colored. This is a honeydew, honeydew sage. And so the leaves actually kind of look like little aspen leaves. But you can also get pineapple sage, which has really big leaves and has a smell of pineapple. And so I definitely recommend all different types of sages. Um, and speaking of pineapple, here's a, a pineapple mint. And see, this has a little variegation to it. And so pineapple mint has a little bit of a smell of pineapple and a little bit of a more subtle taste of a mint. But it's better for ice cream, for a garnish. It's not as strong as mint, but in even adding it to your your uh, iced tea, and if you want a little bit of colorful mojito, but it doesn't have as much strong of a flavor. So, but it does have a slight little taste flavor of pineapple. So, very attractive, variegated leaves, and then more mints. This is called an orange mint. It's a peppermint. Um, there's many different types of peppermint. This one almost tastes like candy if you just. I mean, you can just eat this plant, and it just tastes really good. It tastes like little, like the gum. It tastes like gum, and so you can uh, add this. So if you want a peppermint, orange mint, mojito, this is a very good one. And then here I have a spearmint. So the leaves are a little bit more jagged, and this one, this one's the more popular type for uh, mojitos and drinks. So mint juleps, adding it to your iced tea. So spearmint, and it's not it's not as clean of a taste. It's it's it has a little bit of a, a pinch to it. But uh, spearmint's very good. So this one's Kentucky Colonel. There's many different types of spearmints. You can get Spanish mint, Moroccan mint. Usually all of them are a different type of spearmint. And then again, mojitos, summertime baby. <laughs> so this is the one. So make your own, grow it on your garden, and mints spread almost like weeds. So if you have actually a regular garden, you actually want to keep them in a container unless you want them to spread. I, I actually like them as a ground cover. 
and because they're useful so so but spearmint's great it spreads very quickly very prolific and uh, great during the summertime with all your drinks water iced tea mojitos mint juleps again <laughs> let's see this is a lemon verbena lemon verbena and oh it smells so good it has a really strong citrus lemon smell to it and so this is good in infusing alcohol into vi uh, into uh, you can put it in vinegar but in alcohol like in uh, including in vodka is very good so you can buy a affordable vodka add some several leaves of or several uh, big amount of lemon verbena and it will add that really good lemon flavor to it naturally so I highly recommend lemon verbena but they do they are prone to aphids unfortunately and I guess getting back to another mint you can see little holes in this uh, this aphids go to this is a chocolate mint and I actually added the lemon verbena and chocolate mint to a single uh, drink or a single thing of vodka and it tasted so good but it has little holes, little bugs, little pests. And the best way to get rid of uh, lady, or, sorry, the best way to get rid of aphids, other than soap and water or just water, hosing them off, is ladybugs. So go to your local garden center and get some ladybugs and put them on your garden, and they'll keep your plants hopefully pest free. And then here's some more chocolate mint. And then here is some oregano. And so you can add this to spaghetti sauce, Italian dishes, and then just cook it as a snack and just eat it. It has a really good flavor, each little leaf and everything. So keep it on the stem, fry it up on the frying pan like I'm going to, and just eat straight from it. And then I got some more steak, some more basil. I got some cilantro. Mm, I love the smell of cilantro. So you can add this to sandwiches. You can add cilantro to salads. You can add cilantro to many different things your own salsa I got tomatoes growing on my deck so I got to have tomatoes so my own cilantro and basically get some green garlic and green onions and cook that all or basically cut that all together and have some my own homemade salsa uh, this summer but uh, cilantro is very good but you got to be careful because cilantro bolts very quickly and that's when that means it's starting to flower and when it flowers it gets a little bit more bitter so cut them back when you start seeing them bolting up to flower because uh, you want to keep your cilantro uh, well, relatively short so that you can enjoy it all summer long in your meals and everything. And then last one I have here is stevia. And this is a very, very sweet leaf. And so it has a high level of sugar in it. And so you can actually break it up and use it as a sweetener, add it to your tea, and it's very good. So. I think this is ready, it's starting to smoke a little bit, so turn it down, so start cooking up these, starting with some stevia. Adding some sage. I can add this well, after I'm done cooking into soups, into salads, into any sort of meal as a garnish, or just eat it as a snack. And you can cook this too when you're camping, and so it's delicious. And they're already starting to get ready, so it's very, very quick, very, very easy. Spectre.